Welcome to Pick Your Poison, and today we're talking about nicotine poisoning. This one's kind of shady because it derives from the nightshade family of plants, so nightshady. Nicotine is naturally found in the roots and leaves of various plants, most notably tobacco. It's more toxic than cocaine, which is why it will kill you faster than, you know, disco fever. However, it is restricted by the government and only available in small quantities. So obtaining the 60 milligrams of substrate that it would take to kill a person isn't as easy as going to your local corner store. To achieve a lethal dose, a non-smoker would have to smoke 40 cigarettes at once or chew 15 pieces of nicotine gum. The majority of poisoning cases occur when children mistakenly reach for an unsupervised pack of nicotine gum. So please keep an eye on either your kids or your nicotine gum. But who cares about children, say all you egocentrics? How would an adult be poisoned? Well, they literally be poisoned, like by another adult. Tobacco brewed into a tea tastes horrible, but has been used as a murder weapon. So how do you know that you have nicotine poisoning? Well, symptoms to look out for are vomiting, nausea, and diarrhea. And if the mass exodus of bodily fluids didn't alarm you enough to seek medical attention, the heart palpitations, difficulty breathing, and your newly acquired lisp might also do the trick. So there you have it. If you had to be infected by a poison, would you pick nicotine or would you like to give another poison a try? Click here to see the pros and cons of choosing nicotine or click here to learn more about potassium poisoning. And as always, please let me know in the comments if there's a poison you'd like to hear more about.